Hello everyone and good morning and welcome to another Warframe video. My name's Jason aka Vapes and Games and today we've got kind of a special video. We're finally pushing on with some of that glorious story content y'all been craving. So no more node farming and stuff like that. We moved that over to the live stream over on uh, Twitch TV forward slash Vapes and Games all official. And just prior to recording today, we've also got set up a max rank Excalibur with a lovely skin that let me just refresh my memory because it's terrible. Uh, the, was it no pain? No, 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 no. Dr. Mosquito, MD, certified surgical doctor of the Warframe community. Um bought me this wonderful skin i've obviously had some other gifts from wonderful members and we've been pushing a lot of content over on the stream and having a jolly good old time so as customary we're going to check our inbox today we've actually got no gifts but that does not surprise me people have been very generous over on the live stream so we are just going to check the friends request we've got dj d -d 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 dj fatty youtube dj fatty Fanny, yeah, Fanny, DJ Addy Ye Whitey Whitey. Hey man, love your vids, and I like the new layout of streaming to videos, so you progress at videos are faster. Well, I am glad you like it. Obviously, what people don't seem to understand is I'm very new to the game. I didn't understand the systems and the amount of grinding in between core story elements. I never knew that, so I thought when I was making videos on, you know, doing little nodes and whatnot that they were indeed what people were after. Now, we do have a mastery rank up due in three hours and 50 minutes. I'm ashamed to say, and it is up on the VOD on the, on the channel, I failed. I failed. I couldn't believe it. I practiced it four times, and then I went in, and I just completely paused it up. So I do apologize. So we got, what is this? Six items ready to claim? All right, okay, 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 okay. So that's pretty interesting. I never knew we had this. So this is new. So we can look at this, and this just gives us a sort of the lowdown on what we currently have, which is kind of nice. We didn't confirm our friend's request. So, cost story wise, we've got the uh, Neptune. Retail rig or so we're not quite up to that one yet. So find Cephalon Simaris missing sentinel. Set new strange as the active quest. We certainly will. New strange, find Cephalon Samaris missing sentinels. And we're now gonna launch into this. So finally, we are progressing the main story. As you guys requested, gonna do my best to focus in here on what counts and not talk through everything. Prison searching for a curious anomaly. Their last known location was the prison block. Hunter, I must know their fate. There we are, we've landed, and I must say, can we just take a moment to look at these graphics? Like holy moly. Look at the rain, it's just so beautiful. I'm a little my little cat. My little cat vamps here. Getting piss wet through in the rain. Oh, you see the little rainbow effect in the in the rain as well. Holy shit. Beautiful boys. Beautiful girls. Let's go. So we gotta locate the sentinels here. We are gonna be separating these story missions into dedicated episodes, and I hope this new format yields positive results with the community. And I hope it's something Oh, that you all enjoy. Samaris, what was so we have made. Your Just hold up. Entering a Grenier prison. All knowledge is important. I would expect you to know that, Lotus. Just saw Cephalon's calling her Lotus. We call her Space Mommy. You know the crack. So, one thing to know: I have made like a loadout now, with maxed out weapons and stuff. 
with the Dexter Carner, the Bulltor. And obviously my favourite Warframe at the moment, which is Excalibur. Bows down like a good knight should. Absolutely just love uh, this ability. We just dash at people. Quite taxing enemies here. Certainly not a pushover anymore. So I'm going to take a wild guess that these story missions are going to be slightly more difficult. And we welcome that challenge. Had a lot of great support and people subscribing to the Twitch channel. And if you do feel like you want to support me in any way, shape or form and help me out, as I do do this entirely on my own. I don't have an editor, I don't have an artist or anything like that. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You can use the donation link in the description or in the pinned comment. Or you can uh, just subscribe to the channel, which costs you nothing. Or you can go over to my Twitch TV and drop a Prime sub. Or go and subscribe over there. Or even just watch the video. I'm just happy you're all here. But I had a few people asking how they could support me. I never ask for money. I never ask for donations. Uh, it's just if anyone wants to, the, the option is there. But I don't. I don't. Re I don't ask people, and I don't sort of uh, shill for it and stuff like that. I'm just happy to be a content creator on this wonderful platform with this wonderful community. That's why moving forward, even if I am terribly successful. I think I would be very apprehensive about sponsorship and stuff like that. I think I like to keep it real. Uh, be in full control of everything. And you know what? If I don't enjoy it on other people's videos, I don't want to see it in my videos. And I hate sponsorships. I hate waiting 20 minutes to get to the content because of a red Shadow Legends intervention and whatnot. So we won't be having any of that unless it pertains to Warframe or the current content being viewed and it's something that benefits my viewers directly. Uh, we probably won't be bothering. We want to keep this channel real, grounded, to the point. One thing I've learned in this journey is being yourself is the most important factor and I think people respect you more when you keep it real. What the hell is going on here? We got electrocuted. Just lost our shield. Um, don't know what actually happened there? Oh damn! What? Oh, we did it. Thank God. I really hate those ones that bounce back and forward. Uh, we finally got the Wave Rider quest line complete over on the live stream as well. I was so thrilled about that. In the cell block. Sentinels in the cell block. I know there's a bit of a delay, but sometimes when I press the space bar, when it's over it, it doesn't always actually activate. I don't know if anyone else experiences this. Oh shit, what are these? Come home, my darling. Huh? Where they gone? Hunter, my gratitude is boundless. Head for extraction so that we might discuss. Not so fast, Tenno. If Cephalon Samaris isn't willing to tell us what happened here, we'll find out on our own. Yes, we will. Their data vault and find their security logs. Let's go. Let's find the security logs. I was thinking that so I was told the story missions were a little bit longer. A little bit more in depth, I was kind of thinking. That seems a little bit too easy. So, interesting. We're going to be pushing forward here. I'm going to open these. Point. Point. Going to open some of these boxes. I'm just kind of hoping that the RNG is a little bit higher on the story quest, so maybe. Maybe we find something a little bit funky, a little bit cool. I mean, we might not do, but... 
no harm in checking at all. I'm really enjoying the part that the content's getting a lot harder now as well. Get the alarms going off. Just as I'm enjoying it getting harder, uh, something bad happens. I hope that doesn't affect our ability. Do get the security stuff. The Bulltar is one of my more favourite guns. I do like my ARs the most at the moment. I do like its fire rate, its reload speed. Its damage is quite good. How good it is for endgame, I'm not entirely sure. But since we're not there yet, it should be all good in the hood. Mercy, mercy, mercy. I do love the old Dex and the Karnas. Very quick weapon. Lots of damage. We are attracting a lot of attention here, though, so I think we better push on. Holy shit, that's some damage. So, like I've said from day one, the channel's an ever, ever evolving sort of organic thing. I think things are going pretty well. Please sound off in the comments and let me know if you like the new format of the live streams and the more pertinent content in the videos moving forward. Um, I hope it's a happy medium to keep everybody happy. Uh, I'm just trying to find the best way to approach this content for everybody. Some people prefer long form videos, some prefer short and all that stuff. But uh, we walk against the semantics of that. I just hope uh, that everyone's happy with the current state of things. And if you're not, let me know. Damn. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Boink. I don't know why I always say boink when I'm playing this uh, Warframe. It just feels right. We don't particularly need to be taking these out, I don't think. Just worried that they might set off the alarms or something. Which we don't want, because this seems like kind of we've we've transitioned into a bit of a security protocol mission. I'm trying to stay as focused as humanly possible. We have been incredibly busy over the past couple of days with the channel. Um, but I don't want that to affect my ability to stay engaged and perform to my absolute best. For you guys and girls. Uh, uh, um, is it this way? Have I gone back on myself here? Yet. No, not like this, not like this, not like this. Yeah, we've done it again. Oh my god, we're so bad. Let me in the fucking room! I really don't know how we get in here. Oh shit. Oh dude. We're going to lose this data. Right, we're through. So we can roll through that. So are we inside now? Are we back where we started? Oh my days. Dude, we failed. Oh my god. How embarrassing is that? Oof. I don't even know what happened. We got turned around there somehow. And, uh, yeah. Damn, son. Well, I've got to say, that's a bit of a tragedy. If that's not a sign that the game's difficulty is increasing. Oh, my stupidity. I don't know why. Here we go again with the better, better beat one time. Looks like we're going back in. I mean, goddamn. We have to be a little bit careful around the area, I think. 
I really am struggling with these spy missions. Something chronic. I mean, I'd like to say, you know, it's great. We kept the XP and whatnot, but we don't actually need the XP. The whole point of this is... What the... Dare set the alarm off, you little bugger. Lotus. We're just going to push. Quite quickly here, I think. Nice to Oh shit. Use caution. I am picking up traces of prosecutor shield arms in the vicinity. Try to set off the alarm again. We can't have that, I'm afraid. Oh, sugar, wrong wrong button. Target scanned. So we don't have like a stealth frame yet, I don't think. But I think uh, these missions will become considerably. The alarm's gone off again. Boom! I love that ability so much. Like, oh my god, it's so good. Auto breach. Turn the alarms off. Let's go, baby cakes. Move forward. I sponge some of these targets now. Getting to sort of the stage where we are going to have to invest a little bit more in sort of a core weapon. Uh, double up and get some of our mods a little bit higher upgraded, I feel. It is doable for the time being. We've got my favourite door in the world. There we go. Beautiful. Let's free these little baggers. Oh, breach. Are oh, they not actually in this one this time? Uh, so it must be this one, right? Auto breach. There we are, my little babies. Well, they're his babies. Hunter, my gratitude is boundless. Head for extraction so that we might discuss. Not we so are going to be moving forward here. Tell us what happened here. We'll find out on our own. Locate their data vault and find their security logs. I don't remember which way this actually is. He's going for the alarm. I don't think so, Betty. Are you? Not today, punk. Are you? You've got to be extra careful. Sugar, we fell off. Got to be. Can we actually get down there? Ah! The hell, he was screamer. Scream if you want to go faster. Get ready for a tough fight. Prosecutor, eh? Judge, jury, prosecutor, and executioner. <laughs> go. Nice little execute there. Love a bit of a stealth kill, I do. Keep moving forward here. Watch out for well, that would difficult. There we go. Don't you dare set off the alarm, you little bugger. Oh, you. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh, that was close. I'll make sure they don't get to set off the alarm this time.
Or look how far the alarms to be set off. Is it me or does it look like it, the the, uh, the security thing's in a different place, right? Or have I just got a different route, perhaps? Hmm, not entirely sure on that one. We are going to be a little bit more careful here. Actually... Creepy, creepy, sneaky, sneaky. So, can we actually, can we actually get up on here? Okay. Okay. The question is, where to now? And we're right about where we started. Interesting. So, let's go back up this way. So, how do I actually get in there? Okay. So, does this open the door up here? Perhaps. Okay. Bit of trickery there. And we're in. Let's go. Auto breach that shit. We'll examine them when you're safely back on the orbiter. Okay. To extraction. Have a little look under here. Oh, so could we have gone through there to begin with? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, so we, perhaps we could have gone under the floor. I think we could have just gone under here. Interesting. It's looking like a successful mission this time around. Provided we make it out. Here. Nice little bit of a crit there. You're not going setting off the alarm, buddy. And we're traversing back to the beautiful rain. Here we go. And there you have it, mission complete. Fancephalon Simaris misses Sentinels on series grenade rescue mission complete. The corruption to the security logs was extensive, but we managed to retrieve fragments of a biological signature. 
Could this mm. be what Samaris was after? Possibly. Odis will perform analysis on the signature now. Oh, there's nothing here but... The eyes of the dead drink in the night. Interesting. What the hell is that? Uh, pardon, operator. It seems Ordis is hearing voices again. Running diagnostics. No, Ordis. We heard it too. Tenno, that's the voice from the arcane codices. Cephalon Samaris is hiding something. Pay him another visit. Find out what he knows. Samaris has no reason to lie, operator. Please. Treat the great Cephalon with respect. So there you have it, guys. The plot thickens. Very intriguing. Very happy to be clearing story content once again. But I'm going to be keeping each story element from now on separate. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you tune in to the next one to see what happens as we progress this story. If you enjoyed today's content, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike today's content, give it a thumbs down. Drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Ring the post notification bell and make sure you ring the solid one that has the all written next to it. As if you do personalized, sometimes YouTube won't notify you when my latest videos are available. And with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.